Hello guys, uh, welcome back into this tutorial. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can scan uh, any image and documents by using WPS. So you don't need to install again any uh, application for scanning uh, in your Android phone. So if you have a WPS application, you can also use WPS to scan any document, any uh, image file or for any PDF file. Or you can scan any kind of file you want by using WPS file. So you don't need to be uh, installing uh, other applications which are going to be uh, occupying your a storage in your Android phone only uh, having the WPS file is going to help you install this or, or scan any file you want. So, if you didn't subscribe to this channel, no Max TV, please subscribe, like in this video, share this video with your friends, and turn on the question bell button so as you always get notified when you upload new video here at No Max TV. How you can do this now? So, you need to install this application. You can see this application WPS. WPS so after installing this WPS application WPS you can see uh, you need to be using uh, so now this is used to read uh, more information more documents you know on really phone for example if you don't have this one you can go to Play Store like this one and find the application which is called WPS so you find WPS WPS so then you click WPS when you click WPS you want to see this application it is called WPS and you can uh, install it in your Android phone so that you will be reading uh, various files or different types of files in your Android phone without going to uh, to install other uh, files which are clashing and which are not being able to uh, help you to read where the document so WPS is in one so all in one software which is going to help you read all types of files in one all in one you read Microsoft Office Excel you read uh, PowerPoint you read PDF you read Microsoft Office Word documents in one all in one so that you can be able to uh, share even to other friends you can chat with other friends or can be also scanning as the one i'm going to show you today so now let's see how you can be sharing or scanning the uh the document or a gpg image or any other types of image or pdf or even any other kind of file by using wps so i'm going to open my wps here as you can see wps so after opening WPS here, you see I can see in recent. Uh, in recent is where I can get all the documents that are saved on my WPS file. So uh, if there is no document to saved there, I don't have any document on my WPS file. So what I need to do now? So I need to go to Tools. You can see Tools here. So if I come to Tools, uh, you can see I have various options like. Uh, picture to PDF scanner uh, so image scanner PD picture to PDF uh, I can have also uh, recent uh, the recent one I use is uh, each scanner and I can have a PDF to PDF picture to PDF where you can convert your picture to PDF PowerPoint recorder also picture sharing if you want to share a picture to another person can also explore more and show you these or these and even this recycle bin the cycle bin is where you can get all the files you have already deleted if you want to check again back or if you want to restore them back so now so let's go to uh, let's go to the recycle bin so to the scanner yes you see scanner now when I click the scanner, you see they are giving me uh, the option for the picture. I can put this picture to any document I want to scan. For example, I want to scan docs. I choose docs. I choose a PDF. I choose docs. I choose PowerPoint. So I choose recognizable. Yes, recognize text. If you want to be scanning or recognizing the text which is only written. 
So they say only uh, the printed text can be recognized. If you don't have any printed text, it means it is not going to be recognized. So docs, if you are scanning documents, you put into docs. If you are scanning PDF, you put into PDF. And if you are scanning PowerPoint, you put into PowerPoint. After this, all you want to import. Click import. You can also import this one. So now what I need to do is to capture. I click the capture. Let me click on it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm waiting. So you see now I scan as a doc and I watch it. After scanning as doc, I click OK. Then wait and see. OK, OK, OK. You can see now this document is one, number one. And it is now in the form of a document. Then I click OK. It is going to be added to my file. So yes, click OK. I can choose to delete it or I can choose to add another one like this document. Then I click done. When I click it done, also it is going to be in my phone. Then I click open. So you see now it is opening as a document. I can export it as document or be recognized text, extract form, export to PowerPoint or any other option. So I can also go back and scan, add a scan. Yes, as PDF, right? Then click capture this PDF image. Then you wait. Okay. Then you click this tick you see it is converting to pdf now it's a pdf now I click it down so you are seeing now the difference after this when i click that yeah you see now the difference between these documents so i click save i don't want to add just these files so now i click save so means i saved now this i can choose i want to save it where to my phone to my uh, drive to anywhere you want to save this so you can choose the layout you want to be visible for this uh, this is the image or you can choose not to change the layout or even adjusting so is the the same as you see now the, the pdf document here at the top i have uh, the pdf and i have the document because i scanned the values i can add now the uh, powerpoint image right powerpoint now i click this Okay, capture the WPS converting. Then I click tick. Okay, I can choose to rotate it uh, while I'm still here or not. Then click it down. When I click it down, yes, you see now it is converting to PowerPoint and it's opening. Yes, now what I need to do, uh, I need to, I can be opening, I can be sharing, playing like his PowerPoint, because the PowerPoint you can play it. Or I can even share it to uh, my friend or not. So now this is you do this according to how you want to be scanning your document and how you want your document to be looking like after uh, after scanning it. This is how you can do after you save it and you can be accessing it on your Android phone. So this is how you can do means now uh, you can be uh, using WPS to perform uh, multiple functions on your Android phone without installing various applications in Android phone which are going to be taking or occupying uh, much storage on your Android phone. Subscribe to this channel, like this video and share this video to your friends and turn on the bell button so as you always get to when we upload new video here at Normax TV. Thank you for watching video. I'll see you for the next video.